So I'm in the extraction unit this morning and uh, it's stinking hot, but everything is really good. We've got some good honey coming in. I've got my first barrel nearly done. Plenty of honey in the sump. It's all looking good. One of the things you've got to remember is there's so much work. It's not just about extracting the honey over there. It's all about also emptying the machines, moving the process through. So I'm stacking the boxes now. Um, it's difficult to really show you this, but I'm now you have to empty out these boxes. Once you've filled them, empty out the machine and they all go back in. Blah, 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 blah. It's just loads and loads and loads of work. It's just a continuous process of getting these frames. See how that one's got pollen in? But anyway, I've got, um, that's the sound of the pump going, that's the best sound in the workshop, look at that. So, I've got a video I did during the week. Uh, I've been so busy this week trying to get bee escapes on and also then pull honey, but you can't, and also make nukes, but really you can't make the nukes until um, you've finished taking the honey off the top because it's pointless, you'd have to move everything off just one more time, so you, you're doubling back on yourself, so it's a waste of time. So I'm, I've made like 16 nukes yesterday when I took the first beer escapes off, and it's so easy, because you just go to the hives that have just had supers on and you've taken the honey away, and those hives are so super strong, you lift up the top beer escape that's just waiting to be taken off, so you can use it again on, some, on another hive, and it's just full of bees. There's like an inch of thick bees and they're mostly nurse bees because they're not doing much at the moment. So you knock those into a hive. You then go into your hive that you've just taken that bee escape off, take three frames of bees and brood and it's done. Just make sure the queen isn't on it. And then you put them down and then you come, you, then you put your treatments in and then you, the hive is done. But one thing I've got to note is that this year, there's certainly some hives that are bone dry. We've taken that honey away and you've got to make sure that is absolutely replaced because otherwise they will die before the before the ivy flow starts. And remember I said before, you don't want to wait till the ivy flow starts to feed them because it's, that's too late in this false economy. They will never recover enough to survive the winter. You want to feed them now. So I'm going out in my truck with all the gear and with um, syrup and with feeders, feeder shells so I can feed them. It's just so much going on, but it's great because you really feel you're holding everything together. You're doing all this at once. And, and as well as making nukes, as well as feeding the bees, as well as treating your bees, it's absolutely amazing that you're, you'll be able to be part of this to be able to just complete the process. Within two weeks, everything will be done. There'll be nothing to do for the winter. The honey will be in the barrel. The treatments will be on, the supers will be back out on top of the hives. It's just fantastic that we can just work through this process. The weather's been a bit mixed, but we're getting there. And next week's forecast is wonderful. Not too hot, but sunny and dry, which means we can get in all the apiaries and get everything finished. So you, I'm going to leave with this little video to show you about me uh, taking my Mini Plus last week off the top of my nukes. And then if the nukes were strong enough underneath, I then shake the bees through from that Mini Plus down into the nuke. The nuke goes away and next week I've got queens coming out that will then replace that queen I've just harvested. So it's a really good time. We're just doing so much. This, this, is, this is when kind of all the experience I've got is coming together to try and hold it together because I don't know whether I'm Arthur or Martha. I'm rushing around here then everywhere, but it's absolutely fantastic. And I'm looking forward to a break, but it's just a wonderful thing to be able to do all this. So enjoy the video. Bye for now. Greetings. So we're out here dividing up my load of Mini Plus, the last ones that went out in the line in the spring and they had a nuke underneath them during the flow and now I'm taking off the uh, Mini Plus that's on the top. You can see on the one behind, I haven't done that one yet. And then underneath I remove the nuke and make sure the queen goes in it. And these nukes that are left in their place, I'm going to give them a new queen this week and that'll be it. That'll be it for the year. Then, then I'll have that new queen to go into next year with. And that's my overwintering queen. And then I've got to build these up quickly. I'm giving them pollen sub. I'm giving them everything I can to build them up. So this is the Mini Plus nuke that was on top of the nuke here. 
and I use a piece of cardboard you can see it's like a stiff card for the summer it's fine with a hole in the middle so on top here we've got a, a nuke that I made up in the spring from my other mini plus that you can see well everywhere but you break them down you make up enough with just enough in there and then they and when they're ready you put a nuke underneath them to decompress them to, to give the bees room if they want to build in the flow okay now some of them not all of them do but but say 60 70 percent do and then what you do is you then go into your nuke here this mini plus nuke you can see it's completely built out there's brood in all these sections i'll just try and show you a section of brood i've just put this back together so we've got nice brood here and there's no queen in this section you can see all those lovely pearly white larvae in the bottom so that's great and there's bees hatching and everything is peachy but there's not a lot of, not a lot of bees left in this because I've got a few forager bees that are going to be coming back to this mini plus nuke that will be in the position of this one. And the great thing is when I finished, I'll, I'll leave this in the place of the nuke and you get a few forager bees that are left over from the nuke. And then you get a lot of new nurse bees here that are going to hatch out. But I've shaken out a lot of bees from this mini plus, but not too many. Because one thing you have to remember is it's going to be about 20 days before any queen that I give her is going to start laying and renewing the bees that are dying all the time in this nuke. But at the same time, they're not dying that quickly because there's no flow on. So they will live quite a long time. That's why you've got to get the amounts about right. But I'm not feeding these nukes because there's so much food in this for now. As soon as I know I've got a mated queen in there who started to lay, I will then give them a second body. I take this body off, take the three frames out from the bottom and put it above the other three frames on the one side and put blank and put new foundation on the left hand side there for them to build out. So that's what I do when there's a queen laying and they will just motor because I know the autumn's coming and I'll give them everything. I'll probably give them some pollen sub and I'll probably give them everything they need. So all the bees left in here are probably um, now nurse bees. All the bees that are here are all milling around on top. They are forager bees and no, a load of nurse bees that I shook from here. And the queen is in here. I've shaken her down. I've given them everything they need. So in this box I've got, because it's a really good one, this one, I've taken out one of the partitions, which is there but I've left this one in its place. There was one this side, so I've given them four, five frames now. There's loads of honey in there. There's a queen, there's a little bit of brood, and now they've got everything they need to just get away. And there's plenty of nurse bees shaken from this one to really get them away. And I will move this straight away now to another spot and I will be able to feed it and give it pollen sub. And then come three weeks, four weeks time, in mid-September, the ivy flow will start and everything will really finish it off for the year and get that box even fuller. I want it absolutely full. I will probably will take out this partition in, say, three weeks, if I can, to give them an encouragement to, to keep going and to, and to grow. And I might take that out and move this frame here, move this frame here across, and then the new frame of foundation will go in there, so they have to build it. So it's, it's all good. You know, so they've got plenty of stores for winter. Now we're looking at mite treatments, and now we're looking at getting these bees ready for the winter, so I don't have to do anything. So this Mini Plus is now in the place of where the nuke was, okay? The nuke is now um, sitting there waiting to be moved. I can't obviously open that now because I've just closed it off. There's a few forager bees that are coming back to join these bees that are inside here. These are mostly nurse bees. So this colony is still protected. This colony is still going to be looked after until I can give it a new queen. And what they'll do is they'll start making queen cells mm -hmm. And I'm going to go in there in about four or five days time and break those queen cells down and they'll have to accept the queen I give them in six or seven days, which I've, when I've got queens coming out. So all these you see here, they've all had, they've all been worked, they've all been processed, they've all had nukes taken out from underneath them. Not all of them, as I said before, have produced nukes, but if they haven't, then what I do is I um, uh, give them a second story and some of the ones with second stories have also given me a nuke, depends how strong they were. So I just have, I've juggled them around according to what their needs are. These ones aren't quite so strong, but they've, this one has just given me a nuke. The one next door gave me a nuke. I've got about 70% gave me nukes. So now those 70% of these now are waiting for a new queen and they'll have a queen in about six, seven days. But that's the way it works. That's what's allowed me to uh, make the, the most of my bees, but also give me time, buy me time a bit. So I'm not desperately trying to juggle everything. You put the nukes underneath these mini plus, you get everything. You get the Mini Plus built out in their own time. You can feed them because they've got plenty of room to grow. And then when a the flow comes along, you're not having to do too much work at the same time. 
So these nukes now are going to need a little bit of help because we're getting on uh, and we haven't got a lot of nectar around. So what I'm doing as well as just feeding them, I'm actually giving them some pollen sub and that's the best thing I can do for them because that will help that queen start that brood cycle. I've shook a lot of bees out the mini plus in the top, more than two thirds of the bees out of there because they're nurse bees into the bottom box because there's a lot of foragers in the bottom box because they were basically hanging in there and the top, top bees was, was mostly full of nurse bees, which is what you'd expect. But there you go, that's what we do. That's what I'm doing now. I'm just getting this ready for the winter and getting things sorted out. I've used so much gear the last few weeks. We've had to, all these new brown Mini Plus, you can see there, the new white ones we bought. I've also got a different series, which are the yellow. They're, they're the ones I bought as well, like a yellowy color, pinky yellow. All those, there are another 60 of those I bought, painted them up in the summer. There's so much work to do. And also the frames we've made. We've also had to make like hundreds of more frames because we just didn't have enough. And my colleague said to me, use as much as you want. So I did, and now we realized we've run out. So these are the Mini Plus, for example, that we buy. They're made by Butte. Okay, we painted those up, they're ready to be used. And these are the frames we make. You can't buy these, these are bespoke to our needs. And we have a little thing we do, we put a nice little handle on the top there to hold. And we got one shoulder on one side or not on the other. And what my colleague likes to do, he likes to alternate them so that you can actually put seven in a box rather than six. I prefer doing the six because I think that's enough. But he likes to put seven. So you put one that way, one the other way, one that way, one the other way. And you can overwinter them on less bees if you want to. That's not what I like to do, but everyone's got their own preferences. So there's more nukes I'm making up this afternoon. These are spare nukes I had. So I'm, I'm going out to the apiary this afternoon to make another load of nukes up as well as the ones I'm making at the moment when I'm taking these, these off. We're into syrup, we're into feeding. It's just a total mayhem of whatever we can do, however we can do it to get things done and get things sorted out. Loads and loads of work. So I've just taken this top Mini Plus off of this box. You can see there's enough bees in this one to make it into a nuke, more than enough. There's not much brood, but there's honey stored and that will keep them going till they realize they've got the queen. They're absolutely nice. They're nice and well behaved. So I'm gonna shake more bees in from this Mini Plus here with the, with the queen in, give them an extra bit of room, give, take out that partition and feed them and give them protein. And before you know it, it's like they're almost doing a, a shook swarm into a box and they are gonna get away. They've got lots of resources at, at their disposal and there's a flow gonna start in three weeks. That's what they need is real pollen. But for now, it'll give them something to get going. So we'll take this off. And you can see they're all absolutely packed, packed full of bees. We always get a couple of wax moth on the top. That's where the wax moth get trapped too, because the bees are so strong that they end up going underneath the poly polythene. It's actually quite a good little trap because once you get the wax moth on top, you can just squish them every time you check the, check the box. You can see they're propolized it, but the wax moth go between, so that's fine. There's not many, but there's always wax moth everywhere. They're just waiting to start wherever you go. So now I'm gonna take these out I'm going to, until I find the queen and leave about one third of bees in here with all the brood. And that's enough with some additional forager bees that are going to come back after. And that'll be enough to keep the brood warm till it hatches. And that hatch over the next few days and there'll be a queen in here anyway in less than 10 days. So that is brilliant. That's all I need to do. And as a good, the weather is actually, I've just seen the forecast for the next two weeks. It's fantastic. So there's every chance I'm going to get away with this. And I'm going to have all these queens and nukes and then be able to use these queens next year and get them overwintered well. That's what we can do, that's what we're working to do. It can work and it will do. Even though we're a little bit late, you can sometimes get away with it. One thing I like to do is when I do take out a frame from these Mini Plus, one thing I've learned is when you're looking for the queen, what you need to do is the minute you lift the frame out, you need to straight away look at the frame on the other side in there, because that's sometimes where the queen is. There she is. You can see her down in there, running around. So that's where you'll find her. And she's in there, I can now, I know I've seen her, she's on the frame down the bottom and I can grab her after. So that means I can put this frame down quickly and not spend hours looking because often you tend to chase the queen from one end of the nuke to the other. So there she is, we'll get her marked and then she'll go into this nuke. But that's how easy it is. You just go through till you find the queen, shake extra bees in, reduce the size of this one down and then this one will be ready to receive a new queen in a few days time. These frames are absolutely lovely. Look at the brood on that that's hatching out. Absolutely brilliant brood.
brood pattern. Let's get her in, get her marked, and then that's this nuke done. There she is.